Hello, this is Desmond Butts, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a 60 degree angle cut on a mini lathe. This happens to be the Microlux mini lathe, and uh, I changed some things around a little bit here, but first I've got a piece of uh, 3 8 um, drill bit stock in here, and I've got a 70 degree cut already in it. That's the distance between from the point, the angle from the point going out to the stock. Of course, this is level and a 90 degree would be a flush cut, so it'd be flat on this side. And uh, what we have to do is we have to take 90 and subtract what we're going to do on our angle down here. In this case, it's 20 and 20 degrees here is going to give us a 70 degree from the point all the way out here. We're going to modify that and make it a 60 degree, so we're going to have to come over here and put this on 30 because 30 and 60 is 90 and we're subtracting that off of a full face cut. Okay. We do this by backing off this and using an Allen wrench and loosening these two bolts right here. Then we're going to take this and adjust it until we have it at 30 degrees, which is going to be out right there. It's hard to see. There's a little tiny nick right down here. We're going to line it up with the 30. And that should give us, with our tool, when we come back, a nice cut back to 60 degrees. All right, this is now set up and tightened at 30 degrees right here, which is going to give us a 60 degree angle cut from the point back here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, check it with a cube. Turn it on. We're going to put it right on top right here. See if I can get that for you. We have to zero it. We'll push this button there. Now you can see it's zero. Now bring it over here to the angle. Okay. That's showing 20, basically 20 degrees right there. That's the cut that this is set to. But the actual angle from here to here is just about 70, 69.65. So you can see that's the 70 degrees right there. We want it to be 60, so that's what we're going to go for next. Okay, hopefully you can see this a little bit better. One of the difficulties with this is that the tool is on the back side in order to get the travel this way because it's coming at this kind of, it's, it's coming at this angle. So if you can see it like that, it's going to go in and travel at that angle across to make the cut, okay? So it required me to take the back guard off of the, off of the lathe in order to get my hand back there to get that cut. The reason why I didn't bring it from this side and come this way is because it hits against the side of the lathe here and it also potentially makes this come up and bump up against here. So for me, I like this position better coming from this side, traveling this way and the tool this way, so. Um, by no means am I a pro at this, it's just something I trialed and Aaron figured out on my own and it seems to have been working okay. So I'll just get this started up and uh, make a couple of passes. Okay, what I did is I came over here and it's, I reset this up but I actually used uh, one of these face, facing cutters, you know, cutoff tool. That way I could get that uh, little bit of a cutoff to it so it has a flat to start with because it, trying to get this to go from the point out when I'm changing the angle on it just wasn't going to work. So that's where we cut off the tip of it and we're going to start from there. All right, now for all you uh, professionals out there, I'm a little bit repentant because what I did is I put this closer into the chuck so I didn't put stress on it because I had it quite a ways out here. I said, wait a minute, that, that's not going to work as good as I want. So I brought it back in there a little closer to give it a little bit more precision, I'm going to continue to make a couple passes and finish this up now. I don't know if you can see that, but it is on zero right there. Sorry, we're backlit. Okay, there's uh, our angle. Really sensitive, but see it bouncing around there right at 30 degrees. That's what we have set here. So that matches down here. 
And now we put it at this angle. And we have 60, 59.7, 59.8.